Good morning, God. Bless this morning, God. Keep this morning. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. Well, my shirt do say, don't be angry, be happy. And that's in um, Psalm 118, verse 24. Praise God. Um, I was going to share with you talking about, you know, law concerning vows out of Numbers. I'm going to read out of Numbers chapter 30. <clears throat> As we all know, the Old Testament still was in the old and the new. Praise God. It's just different years. That's it. Um, law concerning vows. It's vows. Numbers chapter 30, verse 1, it says, Then Moses summoned the leaders of the tribes of Israel and told them, This is what the Lord has commanded. A man who makes a vow to the Lord or makes a pledge under oaths must never break it. He must do exactly what he said he would do. That's also in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 21 through 25. It's like if you want somebody, you tell somebody that you'll do something, and you know you must do it. It's like if you want somebody told you they'll do something, but if they'll pick you up, or if they'll do whatever they say they're going to do, for, whatever for you, babysit or be there or something like that, if they say they're going to do it, you should do it. But you said you're going to do it. I mean, what you say you should do, but you know what you said you would do, actually. You know, you would get mad, you know, whatever, get angry. You know, if somebody couldn't keep their word, didn't say, you know, wouldn't, um, you know, show up whatever they said they were gonna do. You told them they they you told they told you that they were gonna do something, you know, and you went by their word, so they should do it. And if they don't, it's like you'll get angry or whatever, get mad, pissed off, whatever. But they should do what they said they would should do. It's like you tell a guy you'll do something, you're gonna be at church, whatever, you're gonna do this, you're gonna give your cigarettes up or alcohol up, you're gonna change, you know, you praying and telling God that, then that's what he expects of you to do. Um, it says, uh, verse three says, if a young man, if a young woman makes a vow to the Lord or a pledge on the oath while she is still living at her father's home, and her father hears of the vow or pledge and does not object to it, then all her vows and pledge will stand. But if her father refuses to let her fulfill the vows or pledge on the day he hears of it, then all her vows and pledge will become invalid. The Lord will forgive her because her father would not let her fulfill, you know, fulfill them. Now suppose a young woman makes a vow or binds herself with an impulsive pledge and later marries. If her husband learns how, <clears throat> if her husband learned how, I mean, learned of her vows, if her husband learned of her vows or pledge and does not object on the day he hears of it, her vows and pledge will stand. But if her husband refuses to accept her vows or impulsive pledge on the day he hears of it, you know, he, uh, by her commitment and the Lord will forgive her. If, however, a woman is a widow or, a re or is divorced, she must fulfill all her vows and pledges. And that's also in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Verse 10 says, But suppose a woman is married and living in her husband's home when she makes a vow or bind herself with pledge. If her husband hears of it and does not object to, you know, object to it, her vows or pledge will stand. But if her husband refuses to accept it on the day he hears of it, her vows or pledge will be nullified and the Lord will forgive her. So her husband may either confirm or nullify any vows or pledge she makes to deny herself. But if he but if he does not object on the day he hears of it, then he is agreeing to all her vows and pledges. If he wants if he waits more than a day and then tries to nullify all vows or pledges, he will be punished for her guilt. These are the regulations the Lord gave Moses concerning you know, relationship between a man and his wife and between a father and a young daughter who still lives at home. That's also in the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse fifteen <clears throat> through sixteen. Praise God. Talks about you know talks about vows. 
it got me thinking about, you know, somebody tell me something and they won't keep their word, you know. That's what I thought it was going to get down to, but, you know, even that sin the Bible, not keeping their word. I think I talked about that in my other message, but praise God. It talks about the law concerning, you know, vows and all someone shared what you talking about, friendship. Friendship, friendship. It's like when you need a friend, actually, when you need a friend. I'm going to read out of Psalms uh, 32, verse 7. It says, Do ark my hiding place, do shall preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Silah. Psalm 37, verse 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thy heart. Psalm 84. Psalm 84 verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a son and shed, the Lord will give grace and glory. No good things he will withhold from them that walk upright. Psalm 91 verse 15, it says, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Psalm 139 verse 7 says, Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy present? In Psalm uh, 139, Psalm 139 verse 10, it says, Even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. <clears throat> and Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 13 Verse 20 it says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17 says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for advisory. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24 says, A man that hath friends must shew himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4 it says, Let nothing be done through strive of mine glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Praise God, and God bless you, and God keep you. You know, when you stop thinking about your own self, but look at your own, look about somebody else's situation, it's always, you know, have you ever been around somebody, it's always thinking about, them, them, them is always like me, me, me. You know, it's never, it's never about somebody else. You know, it's like, in, that, in other words, like, hey, you blessed, you know, God bless you, you know, with the thing you have, you know, can you share, you know, uh, can you help, or something like that, you know, and, then you, and when you know you have more left over, you know, it's all like, I ain't got it, you know, I mean, I use all I could, you know, myself, you know, this, 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 I ain't got it. No, you have it. You know, you know you have some left over for somebody else if you want to give. You know, it's like it's all about you. But what about somebody else? You know, a real friend. You know, I mean, share with, you know, with God bless you. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't even have what you have. You know, it's about sharing and, and, and caring and helping somebody else. Share what you have. Praise God. Quit being all that selfish and shedding all the stuff in. You know, I mean, I'm talking about some real friend. That's what they a real friend would do. You know, but the love of God will do it anyway. When you got the love, the love of God, then you're going to do it anyhow. You know, you're going to bless somebody else, but if it's a prayer, but if it's a word, you know, what if it's just a just a smile or something, a hug, just let somebody know I care, you know, or God bless you, I love you, my, my brother and sister who know it don't matter, you know, just sharing and caring about, you know, something is not always, people think sharing is always about money. Sharing don't have to be always about money. It can just be, you uh, buy them a loaf of bread or something, you know, give them a ride, you know, drop them off, you know, I mean, you know, it ain't always got to be about money. You know, some people, some, they just be like, get the wrong ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah he wants some, y'all yeah, know he wants some, coming around for something. It could just be, you know, uh, she can just come around, just, just see you. She ain't probably seen you in a while. Just say hello, hi, how you doing? I'm, I'm alive, I'm good, or something like that. And probably want to share the testimony. She probably want to tell you that I'm, I'm a millionaire now. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm rich or something. You just never know what a person, you know, wants and what they want to come to you for. So some people just think like that, you know, it's the wrong idea. You know, sometimes it could be right, but sometimes, you know, it could be a wrong idea. I just come around, see you and say hello. You know, you want to come around here, you bag and you want something. You come around here, all the time you come around here, something when you want something. You come around here when you want something. I ain't seen you in three weeks. I ain't seen you in a month. Now, all of a sudden, you're coming around. You must want something. 
Some some lives not always have to be like that, you know. Some people, you know, but your good kid can take quit children, they sick. They probably want to ask you, can you pray for me or something? Not always, but always, but they always want something, you know. But you know, buy them in, you know. You know, have some dinner with them, you know, uh, some food and water, a coffee or something, you know, praise God, ain't everything have to be about money all the time, but hallelujah, praise God, God bless you, God keep, I'm praying for each and every last one of you, and thank you for tuning on to me once again, as always, Heavenly Father, pray for those who and God bless you, and God keep, I pray you would just uh, have that open mind and that open love, that open heart to give, to share, you know, whether if it's a world of God, whether if it's just prayer, whether if it's just giving somebody some water, give a drop of somebody off, you know, just say hello or something. I just pray, you know, just, just have that kindness in your heart, put it in your mind, put it in your spirit, put it in your soul, because you will, you will want somebody to care for you. You might not have to be money all the time. It can just be a love, just say I love you or something. It could be just a gift or something I want to give you. It's not always something that, you know, somebody I was trying to get from you. It could be something else. I mean, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you will find in your heart and your mind and your soul to give that person a chance. If you never know, that person probably changed. You never know what God put in that person. That person probably came to you and tell you that I'm rich. I don't need nothing from you. I'm here to give to you now. You just never know what then a person, what happened in their life or what's going on in their life and what God has for them and what God put them, you know, in your face to show up at your porch or whatever. You know, you just never know what God has, you know, for you. I just pray you would just be blessed and, you know, and be and acknowledge and uh, be obedient to God and all that you do and trust in Him and stay ready. Be ready because you never know. Just be ready. I mean, just have that kind and heart. Just, you know, have that joy. You know, have that love. You know, don't have all that meanness in you. I pray in my name of Jesus that you can do it. You can just stay strong and stay focused and change the way you think. Change all that negatives out of your heart and out of your mind. Get all that negative out of you. Get all them negative thoughts in your head. In Jesus' name, my prayer. God bless you. God keep you. God wants you to be strong. God wants to love one another no matter what it is. He just, he just said love. And you don't love you all like murmuring, complaining, and talking about folks. That's not love. I just pray in the name of Jesus, you just train, train, transform your mind to Jesus' way of thinking, the way what Jesus would do. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. Now I rebuke every sickness and every disease right now. I just pray, Lord, just heal you and touch you right where you pain and touch you right where you hurt. The cure of that disease in Jesus' name right now. Right now in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I just pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that God is angels around you to protect you going in, coming out, wherever you're about to do, wherever you're going. I don't know. Only God knows. And I just pray he just protect you, lead you, and guide you in every area of your life. At the right time. In Jesus name. Glory be to God. God bless you and your family. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 I know I serve an awesome God. You know how to know he wants you to be good. Because he's good. God is good. Hallelujah. He want to test you. It's your time. It's your time. It's your turn for you to do good. Turn that little negative thought into the good way of thinking. To the best way of thinking. You know. I serve a best and awesome God. He wants you to think the way he wants. You should think. Think like Jesus. Praise God. It's like, what would Jesus do? Jesus would just try. He did. He gonna try. He just gonna do. He gonna do the do. No matter what nobody say. Or whatever. Nobody don't believe him. He just gonna do it. Love one another anyhow. No matter what they say or what they, or how they treated you. Whatever they tried to do to you in the past. Turn that situation around for the better. In Jesus' name. Because God is love and he loves you. Glory be to God. God bless you. God keep you until next time. Remember, God loves you. So do I. You take care. Have a wonderful day. Have an upcoming blessed week. And don't let the devil in hell still enjoy today, this week, or no day. In Jesus' name. See you later until next time. This God say the same.